Fruits and vegetables account for a large portion of food commerce in Asia and the Pacific. Countries within the GMS are major contributors in this growing market segment. Correspondingly, a significant amount of about 25% in extreme cases are wasted due to rotting and post-harvest mismanagement due to improper washing, packing, and transport. Wouldn't it be nice if this 25% wastage is avoided and goes into the farmer's pocket as added income instead? It is indeed possible. We will show you simple yet very affordable post-harvest technologies that are effective in preventing produce spoilage and adding more profit into farmers' pockets. There are two videos in this program. Video number one will illustrate what post-harvest loss is. The major causes of post-harvest loss and simple techniques on how these losses can be dramatically reduced or avoided. Video number one will also demonstrate proper harvesting and produce field handling methods and appropriate system for efficient packing house operations. How is post-harvest loss reduced? Produce should be handled with utmost care as they are still very much living after harvest. They react poorly to loss of water and other environmental hazards. Poorly handled produce can easily spoil and be infested with microorganisms and bacteria that cause several negative health issues upon consumption. Major causes of quality loss in tomato, chili, yard-long beans, bitter gourd, cucumber, and eggplant are over-ripening, yellowing, shriveling, and rotting. Wilting, yellowing, or rotting are attributed to major quality loss in Chinese kale while bacterial soft rot and wilting of outer leaves are ascribed to cabbages. Market requirements are stringent and harvested produce must be disposed of at the right time of maturity to ensure good quality and allow selling at the highest price. Proper harvesting and field handling. Post-harvest begins when harvesting ends. Produce must be harvested at optimum maturity. Vegetables that are harvested too early or too late do not store for long. For longer travel and shelf life, tomatoes are harvested mature green or slightly red but firm. Chili can be harvested while still green and done so for certain reasons, but will no longer turn red after being harvested. Bitter gourd, cucumber, eggplant, and yard-long beans are harvested when young and tender, but must be of desired size for optimum yield. Overmaturity is indicated by yellowing in bitter gourd, cucumber, and also hardness in eggplant. Prominent seed bulging in yard-long beans is indicative of overmaturity. Mature cabbage head is compact and firm by hand pressure, while puffy head and cracking indicates overmaturity. Chinese kale is harvested when it's still young and full in size. Time of harvesting. To maximize the efficiency of pickers and to minimize exposing produce to heat, it is recommended to harvest during the coolest time of the day. Produce that are harvested when the atmospheric temperature is hot increases the likelihood of quality loss. Under this circumstance, it will help when produce are left to cool down under shade. Plants are brittle and prone to damage when harvesting early in the morning. It is best to harvest carefully during this time. It is not advisable to harvest during or just after a rain, as wet conditions usually lead to spoilage. If produce are harvested during the rain, it is necessary to wash and dry the produce. Harvesting method. Harvesting of produce should be done carefully to minimize physical injury and preserve quality. The following techniques and tools are necessary for proper harvesting. Handpicking, nipper, clipper, Scissors, knife. Avoid pulling a fruit as this will damage the stem and thereby damage plant and affect its fruit bearing capacity. Right. Cabbage and kale must be harvested with a knife, not twisted or snapped, to avoid uneven stalk length. Harvest containers should be smooth surfaced and small to minimize damage to produce. Pickers must wear protective clothing to avoid skin burn, irritation, or allergy caused by chili oil or plant hair, especially for tomato, cucumber, and eggplant. Field handling. Use of proper implements and care in handling produce from field to pack house can reduce and preserve quality. 
the use of plastic crates to carry produce from the field to the packing house are more advisable. For container with rough surfaces, such as bamboo baskets, it is advisable to use liners such as banana leaves or newspaper. To maintain quality of produce, avoid the following. Dropping produce or containers of produce. Exposure to heat and sunlight. Produce must not be in contact with the soil as this is packed with pathogens that could lead to spoilage. Packing house operations. Preparation of produce for the market involves the following. Cleaning, sorting or grading, commodity treatments, and packing. Clean produce by trimming fruit stem of eggplants and stem end of cabbage and Chinese kale. Removing wrap or leaves except three to four for protection in cabbage and of damaged and yellowed leaves in Chinese kale. Wiping tomato, bitter gourd, cucumber, and eggplant with clean soft cloth. Wash well to remove soil and other debris. While cleaning, sorting can be done to cull out damaged, deceased, off-shape, or off-size produce. Sorting and grading. Produce is classified based on size and maturity as dictated by markets. Sorting and grading can preserve produce quality by preventing microbial contamination. Sorters must be skillful. Area of sorting must have adequate lighting, proper sorting aids, and a schedule with work breaks. Applying commodity treatments. For tomatoes, bicarbonate wash. One. Prepare the following. 20 grams baking soda, approximately four teaspoons. One liter of water, approximately four cups. Two, dissolve four teaspoons baking soda in four cups water to create 2% bicarbonate washing solution. Three, wash tomatoes in bicarbonate wash for one to three minutes. This reduces storage rots by four to 33%. The two following procedures, using alum or guava, are very effective in preventing bacterial soft rot in cabbage. Alum. 1. Prepare the following. 10 grams alum, approximately 2 teaspoons. 0 0.4 cups of water, or less than half a cup of water. Soft brush, cotton cloth for application of solution. 2. Dissolve 2 teaspoons of alum in 0.4 cups of water to create 10% alum solution. Three, apply on cut butt end of cabbage using soft brush, cotton, or cotton cloth. Four, dry cabbage with cut butt end facing up. Guava leaf extract. One, prepare the following, mortar and pestle, Mature guava leaves to create half a cup pure guava leaf extract. Half a cup of water, soft brush, cotton or cotton cloth for application of solution. Two, slice guava leaves and extract juice from leaves using mortar and pestle. Three, collect half a cup pure guava leaf extract. Four, mix half a cup pure guava leaf extract with half a cup of water. 5. Apply on cut butt end of cabbage using soft brush, cotton, or cotton cloth. 6. Dry cabbage with cut butt end facing up. Okay. Okay. Packaging. Proper packaging will protect produce from damage and will serve as an effective handling unit. The following packaging may be used bamboo baskets, plastic baskets and crates, wooden crates with inner cardboard sides, and collapsible type carton and foam boxes. To further protect produce, use liners such as newspaper or banana leaves. Wrap produce individually with newspaper or stretchable foam cups. Add vents in carton boxes to minimize heat buildup. Secure packaging with straps. Other protective packaging measures. 
use clean containers. If manual handling, use containers with capacity, example 40 kilograms, that can be easily handled by an average person. Fill package to capacity, do not underpack, more vibration damage, or overpack, more compression damage. Pack fruit of only one maturity per container. Immobilize produce in container. Gently shake the container now and then to permit filling up of spaces. Secure the package with proper binding or strapping. Pack and stack in a cool place. Observe care during packing and handling of packages. Using 25 kilogram capacity polystyrene crate with shredded paper could reduce damage of tomatoes by 11 to 18 percent compared to carton box. Conclusion and Acknowledgement In conclusion, post-harvest loss should be a thing of the past. The video presentation has conclusively illustrated how farmers can identify causes and employ simple techniques to avoid post-harvest losses. The video has also demonstrated that appropriate handling of produce in the field and efficient packing techniques are sure guarantees of preventing post-harvest losses and higher profits for farmers.